Lee Chan recently ended, so I've got it to get her a ton of people on the internet that are all nerds, so we can talk about what we thought of the theory. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Have fun with that. <laughs> hey guys, uh, Real to Real, always good to be on One Piece's channel. Thank you, One Piece. What's up, guys? What's I'm up, I'm not editing any of this out, by the way. That's yeah, okay. I'm a rock. So, uh, that's that. Zeno, guys, you should, like, sub to all of us. Yeah, you're the channel. Of the sub people. to rock. Please make, search up rock. I make great shit. Like, they do too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the link to all these nerds, the channels, will be in the description down below. If you want to go see everybody be a nerd, Subscribe to them. They we're all nerds. I beg of you, link a picture of a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> you know, I'm not even going to edit this out. But, um, yeah, so Bleach just ended. So, uh, I think we're going to talk about how we got into the series. You want to start us off? <laughs> I guess I'll start us off. I got into it. She was acting incredibly short. I had, ju I had just been catching up to Naruto. And I had nothing else to watch yet. And I can I had been watching reviews of Naruto online. So I and I only kept on seeing this series bleak and it looked really badass. So I looked into it and I started watching it with an English dub. And Bleach it was it's a very fun and I caught up to the series, which was very fun. It's a very fun theory to marathon. Not not a, it's much more fun to marathon bleak than it is to read it week to week. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and that's the story of how I caught on, uh, got into Bleach very more. So plain, just like so plain. No, I think that's the reason I didn't want to go first. Any, <laughs> anybody I'll else? Go, I'll go second, um, since mine's a bit somewhat more interesting. Basically, at this point in my life, I was um, younger, and I was pretty much a Dragon Ball fucktard. So uh, I literally only knew about Naruto and One Piece at that point, other than Dragon Ball. I hardly was into anime, and I had just uh, seen a picture of Bleach, and it was, like, Ichigo with his sword. I was like, hey, that's cool, a character, an anime character with a sword. And at that point, the only other anime character I'd ever seen with a sword was Sasuke, and he was the only Naruto character I had ever liked. So I decided to search it up and find out what Bleach was, and that's how I got into it, because I began to watch it. Yeah. Uh, why don't you go next, Mark? Uh, I. So when it came to Bleach, uh, I kind of agree. I wasn't necessarily into everything like under the radar. I really liked Dragon Ball. I was familiar and really liked Yu Yu Hakusho and everything. And then at the same time, I was kind of in this little wasteland for a long time where I was like, okay, I watched all of Dragon Ball. I stopped watching Dragon Ball uh, after it ended. And at that point, like, Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach weren't necessarily a thing, but a lot of my friends in high school really, really liked Bleach. I mean, Bleach was the biggest thing there for a while. I mean, at some level, it was bigger than One Piece and Naruto here in the States, or at least when I was in high school, it was. And I knew about it from the onset, but it never seemed important to me. Like, it's like I always thought they were, like, samurais or something, like, going around kicking each other's asses with swords. And I didn't necessarily know anything about it. So, obviously, at the beginning of this year, or Christmas last year, I started getting back into Dragon Ball with the Dragon Ball Renaissance that's really gone on. A lot of people have. And I wanted to kind of start exploring a whole lot more series. So, I wanted to get more into the big three, if you will. And uh, I decided there to start with uh, Bleach. I, actually, I started with Naruto, but... A lot of people say Naruto had the best opening of the big three. I completely disagree. I think it has the worst. <laughs> but that's a video for another day. I think that Bleach got my attention, and it really kind of drove me in. I watched a lot of the anime. I'm not watched up or caught up with the anime, but I've completely caught up and read all the manga. Uh, what about you, Snake? Okay, so, like, for everyone who doesn't know, Bleach is my favorite out of all of the animes and the mangas. But the reason I got into it, I was in school, and my friend was like, hey, dude, you got to check out this anime called Bleach, because I was starting to get into Naruto, and he knew that. So I, you know, I was like, 
I ain't gonna watch this series. Like, at the time, I was like, I'm only gonna watch Naruto and Dragon Ball because I just got over Pokemon. Like, I didn't like Pokemon. Like, I don't know. I got over Pokemon, stopped watching Pokemon, like, a year before that. And I was like, I'm not watching any other series besides Dragon Ball and Naruto. But I finally gave in, and I watched Bleach. The funny thing was, is I watched a filler episode, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> That's the funny thing. I actually enjoyed it, and I was like, yeah, man, this, this show is pretty cool. And I went back eventually and started from episode one and went all the way to the Soul Society. Then I stopped, and then I eventually actually picked it back up later, I don't know, maybe two months ap- after I dropped it. And then I started at the point to where, like, Orihime was leaving the World of the Living to go to Waco Mundo, and that's where I started started to watch it again. I skipped, like, a lot of the beginning of the Ronka arc, and I just finished it all the way from the Orihime going to Waco Mundo to the Full Ring arc, and then I went back and watched the Forbidden Bount arc, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I watched the beginning of the Ronka arc. And that's really how I got into Bleach and... One thing about Bleach, it just sucks me in. I'm like, I can't get enough of this shit. Like, (laughs) I just can't. I can understand that feeling. The one thing I liked about Bleach the Mist has to be the art style. That's the one thing that pulled me into it when I started watching it. Oh, it's the it's the most realistic of the big three. I think in terms of you know the character designs look like they could kind of be human. well, yeah. Naruto, Naruto's close, but Naruto has some really weird-looking people. <laughs> <laughs> like, Bleach, yeah, they look realistic, except that freaking hollow mask on Ichigo's face. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, wow. it, it looks like it's inside. Did anybody else feel like inside the hollow mask is just floating there? It's yeah. sometimes yeah, I mean, like there's nothing ice? attaching it to its head. Well, isn't that's what it does, right? It just works. Yeah, it, should, it. it should be connecting to a skin, but if like Kubo didn't want to draw it, like connecting. Mm-hmm. I would really assume it just floated there. So, no, nice. it does not. It's actually not. It's actually supposed to be like can, it's supposed to be like a part of his thing. Mhm. But uh, you know, just screw it, right? I mean, I can understand that would be really annoying to draw. <laughs> yeah. But uh. So before we get into the real purpose of this, so is there anything that you really want to mention in terms of like uh, your favorite moments or anything? Yeah, I want to mention one thing. Like, dang, Karin, did you see her in the freaking last chapter, bro? Like, <laughs> or <laughs> we can just jump to the final chapter, sure. I had to mention that. Like, dang, bro. Karin got Karin is now a twenty-three year old with really big boobs. Which is, yeah. That would feel really weird to say, because I don't know about you guys, but when I think of Caddy, I think of a, like, nine-year-old girl. I still <laughs> think of a nine-year-old girl. I am, I, I cannot just imagine her being like that. I, I can't. It's, it's just not me. I have to have, it has to be Ichigo's little sister. That's always what it's going to be to me. I can never imagine her being like that. Well, she could. She still is technically. I mean, I know, but like when you imagine a little sister, especially of Ichigo, you you think of like you know, Kari, the younger now. one. You know, she's legal now, though. She's, <laughs> she's legal. <laughs> I I I feel like um, it, it's really interesting. I I think the ten year time skip was a really really good idea. I guess we'll we'll get to that eventually, but yeah. yeah in terms of my favorite moments, we already did a video about. This where we talked specifically about our favorite moments, but one of mine still is, and I I keep saying it, the initial fight between Yoda, Weechi, and Soifong in the Soul Society arc was something absolutely amazing, in my opinion. Yeah, that, that was a good fight. Uh, who wants to, who wants to, oh, my personal, I'll say my personal favorite moment is, uh, I'm going to go with a generic. My, I, I, really, I thought about this a lot. Now it's not the theory door, but I thought every single moment. Unkiora. I thought it was Unkiora. Yeah, that was my favorite fight, too. And that was my favorite moment. Just that, when oh. he got that roar. Oh. Like that <laughs> scream. And he just, like, in agony. Just scream, like, death and rage. It's just there. It's just so cool. <laughs> yeah, my, my favorite fight was the one with Moment? No, the fight. Yeah, I was asked, would 
your favorite moment? Ah, oh, that, that's a tough one. Like, you're putting me on spot here, dude. Like, <laughs> that's really a tough one. If I would have to say my favorite moment, it would, this is cheesy. Well, it's not cheesy, but it's kind of weird. But it was in the full bring arc when Rinji showed up, like when Rukia had stabbed Ichigo with the sword with all the Soul Reaper powers in it. And the gates opened, and Rinji said, "You're not. He's not the only one, dumbass, or something like. That. Just Rinji's so funny. Like, doesn't he's I, like? She's like, no. Doesn't he's he's like? You think you can make him a soul reaper with just like your your small amount of power? And Rinji, yeah, like, that. He's yeah. like, he's not the only one, dumbass. And it's like yeah. everybody. It's like, oh shit, dude. No, it's actually. Oh, it's just like, fun oh, fact about those days, those are the soul reapers that are the most popular with the fans, according to the polls. Well, that's obvious. Um, if I had to say my favorite moment, it'd probably be in the Fullbringer arc also. But this is going to sound a little weird. It was uh, in the anime when Ichigo just started crying. I don't, for some reason, I felt really connected to Ichigo when he was crying. Like, I felt so sad for the guy when he was just crying so desperately. And, like, I just felt like I wanted to cry, but I couldn't. Because it wasn't sad enough of a movement, but like the fact he was crying so much made me feel for him. Yeah, I gotta do that. It's, it's the one thing we get good at is making you feel bad when the main character decides to be a depressed emo kid. I'll tell you <laughs> one part where I felt really bad. It was in the last chapter, and it, remember what you watched said to Ichigo right before he died, or yeah, I guess died. But I want I didn't want to say that. Well, close. Yeah. yeah, quote unquote, die. He's like, I don't think that, is he even capable of dying? Well, I mean, we know now that they, we don't know who the Soul King is. I mean, they didn't answer that question, so he still might be, although his presence was finally taken out. I, but this is the final chapter, anyway. What you know, were you maybe, maybe Ichigo's kid, whatever his name is, Kaizu, Kizu. He killed him, from what I know. He, he maybe he's the Soul King. Him. Ichigo's kid is the new Soul King. I mean, somebody posted a, a a list of, like, all the plot holes and things that went unanswered because of how it ended, and it's, like, this huge-ass list. It's, like, 30, 35, like, 40 things. Yeah, yeah but I mean, uh, if anybody's still okay, let's be honest, it's Chad. Let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Chad is the new Skull King. Yeah, Chad. That's, how, so that's how we set the good Oscar, because it's Skull King power. <laughs> that's yeah. good. Yeah, but no, but in all honesty, uh, I said we should probably move on to this, the ending. Uh, who wants to go first? Me. Because is it going to be either go really well or turning to a nuts bet? Me. I want to go first. <laughs> okay, you go first. Okay. I went into the chapter with the mindset that I was going to be happy no matter what because I knew that it was going to be controversial and it was <laughs> especially with those shipping like the shipping like oh my gosh like i've heard some crazy stories about that like people breaking their stuff ripping their bleach volumes because ichigo didn't end up with rukia like who thought that that was going to happen i like, i have okay, no i going to repeat i going to say this who thought they could, who thought they could, who thought they would get Naruto then they could Naruto to end up with Sakura. Who thought that was gonna work? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, really, really stupid people. I mean, but that's different though. With Bleach, it's like, how could you not see the Ichigo and Orohime thing happening? Like, yeah. how could you not know that was Shit. coming? I'm, like, I have to, I, I wanted to end a Rukia. I knew that wasn't happening. I knew I mean, that I mean, day one. Well, it's like. It's like he drew them both with orange hair for a reason. Yeah. But the thing was, is, is it's like that Rukia, she's like older than 200 years old. She may not look like it, but she is. Ichigo is like 27 now. And well, it's like... I think, it, I think it's... I agree. I feel like, obviously, that was going to happen. It was written on the walls the entire series. It's not like... It's not like it was ever really ambiguous, so... Yeah, it's not, like, it's not like there was ever any real romantic implication that you see on Rukia. There's literally no reason to think that could happen. Well, yeah, that's well, not necessarily like... true, but I mean, you were talking about you talk about characters and their romantic interests in each other. Orhime was absolutely interested in him the entire series. I mean, obviously, 
and his interests as well, like in a lesser Ichigo type of way. Like yeah, I, like, I don't see how you're mistaking. Yeah. yeah. One example, like this is just I don't know if it's factual, but this is kind of just me theorizing. But the part when Orihime was wearing the, you know, when they she first showed up in the Thousand Year Bubble arc, or not when she first showed up, but wearing those clothes, it was oh, you're giving them a more revealing outfit of the theory. Yeah, and <laughs> Ichigo, you know, got asked the question, what did he think about it? And he said, it's too revealing. In my opinion, that was Ichigo's way of saying, you don't, like, he didn't want her to look slutty. He liked her the way he, she was. That was my opinion on that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. That was him showing his affection towards her and just Ichigo's way, like, you know, you know? Yeah, but, uh. Let's not into the final chapter. It's more of an ending of the series in general. Like, I, I mean, the final chapter was decent. I'll admit to that. It was a decent, it was a decent chapter. Yeah, at least it had a beginning, a middle, and an end. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Th- it accomplished something. <laughs> but yeah. uh, it accomplished making a seven-year-old kill the final villain. I mean, <laughs> at least the, on- the one thing he did accomplish is he managed to kill the final villain and Wait, do all that he did in such a short period of time even with so little to work with even though he wanted to do so many things he still managed to do it i mean there's a lot of people who just would have been stumped in that situation yeah a lot of people who would have been like well i give up love but you may have known like <laughs> but still let's be honest that should have happened it would have made a lot more sense if he had won i have one question though what would you guys have done if in the final chapter it was all an illusion by Aizen, and he was like, and they were still in the fight, and Aizen's like, so, what'd you think? <laughs> I would have been like, you know what, this, this, that, that makes more, way more sense than what we've been getting. That would have been... I would have been satisfied yeah. with that ending. I, I would have well. loved, I would have loved that ending. It would have better than what we got. <laughs> I would be, I would feel so trolled. Like, did anybody see the last panel where it was like, so, you think you're reading the ending of Bleach? Like, I was like, what? Yeah, you want the fan made panel? I'm still confused. That was fan made, but uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. No, oh, they took it the, they took that one chapter. Yeah, it couldn't have been. I swear, like I'm still Trump. Like I'm still trumped on that. That was that was that dude. That was not fan made, dude. That was, but that was an actual like chapter that they just kind of redubbed, right? Like no, no, no. They like edited it to make eyes and let the guy do my hair. Yeah, they they they, they really they, they did a lot of Photoshop work, but it was, that was an actual panel of eyes. Yeah. I think that was funny, though. That was like, amazing. You know, I, my I, favorite line in that chapter is just, is just how the final, it's just that, from Ishika, her name is or whatever, how the yeah. final thing we hear from any character in this series is just, what? <laughs> yeah. I would they ever I bring like, the anime back, I want to see that. I want, I want, I want to see the thing, what? And then just cut to the end. <laughs> Let's be honest. If they bring the anime back, that final chapter is gonna have so much filler. It'll literally be like zero point one percent canon. Yeah, the rest it, of the filler. Good but that's fine. That. Yeah, I feel like I, mean, I know, but the, the, I mean, the, thing, we, the problem, obviously. the yeah. problem with the last two chapters, really, and I don't think this is a huge problem, but one of the big problems with the last two chapters is the fact that slice in the slice of life, especially in Bleach is a rare thing to come by and it's really nice to get but at the same time there wasn't enough of it to kind of put everything to bed and yeah. but i i appreciated what they do and they gave everyone a decent send-off especially yeah, chad not, <laughs> not, not, yeah. you know, we, don't, we, we don't know what he's doing i we i appear they still living with daddy <laughs> no i think he was just i think he's actually a doctor now like Uryu, like Uryu has no time for his friends. He's like, he's a loner. Like he, at the end of the series, he's he's remained a loner. Well, yeah. and we didn't even get to see Udahara or uh, Yodoichi yeah. or anybody. I think Urahara's dead though. I think Urahara's dead. Really? I mean, well, what? Yeah, I mean, Urahara. Why would there be anything to show that he's dead though? Because you know what? I can't remember at the at, after he uses Bonkai. And the fight was over. He said he leaves it up to Ichigo and Rukia. Wait, can someone explain the point of that line to me? I mean, I don't... What did Rukia do? 
<laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, that could just do? mean multiple things, though. That could mean that, like, he can't fight anymore, you know? He could just be paralyzed or something. doesn't necessarily mean he's dead. Well, yeah, then... but he was covered in blood. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, he, he, he would go like that. Urahala, I mean, like... He, Urahala he... is... Urahala, I mean... Yeah, I have a hard like... time believing he's dead. That's just, like, one thing we won't find out. I, I think he's dead, that's yeah. just me, but... Are they ever going to come out with a character book to help explain mm, all this yes, stuff? Yes, I think, along with that, we can talk about that. If you guys want the live-action movie, <laughs> they're, they're, I think it would also announce that there would be a character book. I didn't have a problem with a live-action movie, but the problem... But I did have a problem with it because if if I'm right, Kubo said that he did not want Bleach to have a live action movie, and that, in in my opinion, that's like a, a spinning in his face, spinning in his face. I think I think it could work. They just it, it depends on how they decide to adapt it and where they decide to start from. I think I I just don't see it. I mean, you had not seen it. Yes, and you had not probably seen the Attack on Titan live action movie. Anybody that had seen it can agree with me. What happens when Japan and CGI are done and live action are all put together in a blender? Well, that's mainly because you you even told me yourself that you thought it was just too gory. No, 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 no. It was also the CGI it was not very good. <laughs> the movie um, is not good. I've seen yeah, I've I seen actually, the Death Note movies. The CGI on those isn't very good, but you know. They're making. I can't wait to see what Netflix does with it, and if it succeeds in if it succeeds in Japan, in a big way, like they might make one for, uh, you know, the United States no, because because they have been churning. They they have the Warner Brothers. I think they have the rights. They've been churning since 2012. You just never know. They they, they yeah. tried the two thousand. That's never happening. That what? movie's not happening. I'm sorry. If you're investing bleak live action, it's not happening. One I mean, thing I, I know that movie actually sort of made me mad when I looked at like the poster or whatever cover for it. When I saw that the actor had orange hair and then black eyebrows, that sent my OCD off so badly. Like, wait, that's real? I thought that was just like a fan thing. It looked it looked real to me, and when I saw it, it set my OCD off. I don't know if it was real, but I remember um, One Piece sending it to me, and it, it just. It ticked me off so bad. I, it was just I, think that was a, yeah, I think that was fake, and that was just something done, like, through, like, a, I saw in, like, a thumbnail or something, and I looked it up, and I, I'm 90% sure that's just a picture floating around, and, like, and people are using to, like, represent the movie until we get an official one. Regardless, yeah. if the movie turns out to be, if, if the movie, if they're gonna try to make it good, at least make the character look like the character. Don't just give them an orange wig. And yeah, because... Not- Look like People the don't need to understand it. it sorry, if this movie does really well, like if it is tremendously successful, probably won't be, but if it is, we may get an anime return. And this could push them to revive the anime. But I don't understand, and it just might be me, but I don't understand why they took the initiative to make a live action movie instead of making anime movie adaptations, which a lot of people would probably be way more invested in. I don't know. Because that, cost more, that would probably cost more money in the long run. Probably. Yeah, and probably they just jump to well, not I, I, give, a, a give a rat's ass about Lee. But, I, but you know, how much a, a live-action movie will cost, if they try to do it properly, will cost a couple million, and so would a live-action, or so would an adaptation Depend, maybe, maybe it would depend also on contracting with Pariot. Who knows how much they would have to pay Pariot to do that? Mm-hmm. One thing I do want to say is that if they're going to do a live action movie, they need to do it in America, in Hollywood. And no. I'm not being racist no. by saying that because if you think about it, Hollywood has more money. I'm not hey, being true, racist. but I have one Hollywood they have to more money. I do not want to see um, Americanized Blake. We don't need yeah, that. But they have more money. And I can already see it. The Soul Society, will, 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 instead of being Pseudo Japan, will be modeled after, uh, after Times Square. I guarantee it. <laughs> like, no, no, don't let Hollywood touch it. Please, I'm begging you. Do they have <laughs> we already have, like, versions of movies that have been Americanized. Like, you can look at plenty of movies that have been Americanized because they were made in Hollywood and it's just plain horrible. It like, is, is the new death note. It is the, death, the new death note live action movie taking place in America. In New York. 
And yeah, yeah, I mean, no. No, I don't want those people touching bleach. I'm sorry. Yeah, but, like, they have more money. You can do more stuff. More money does not mean it's going to be better. They could change the entire storyline, and then it wouldn't even be worth watching. I mean, you have Rookie to... Is, is he goes off hot toe. That will be a plot point. I, I meant... I, I should have rephrased it. Hollywood's money with a good act... With, with good actors and good directors. But <laughs> I need to rephrase that. No, I see where you're going with it. If it were done correctly. Yeah. If it was they done, have the money to make it look good. Yeah. That is true. It will it will definitely look better no matter how it turned out in Hollywood had. Yeah. And Hollywood had access to more money, but that's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a Japan-based movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I mean... But we don't know that yet. There is no confirmation. Yeah. But... I thought we got, like, a picture of the actors and stuff. Or uh, the actors. I know, think... God, those are, those are all fan-made. One of the I think one of the people in that picture though from the cancellation that may be one of the actors, but I could be wrong. Yeah, that's what I was saying. What I, I I feel like if we can go back to the final chapter or the the ending in general. I had a I have a video coming out on my channel tomorrow morning uh, where I kind of talk about how Bleach's ending is really kind of a good thing no matter what, and. The way I say that is, a way I kind of phrase that is, I believe, and a lot of people can contradict me if they want, try to, I believe that ambiguity and kind of divisiveness on whether one thing is good or not breeds conversation and speculation and everything that's important to keep a franchise going. Uh, look at Dragon Ball. Nothing yeah. in Dragon Ball is concrete. Like, nothing, everything is just kind of fluid, and there's no real sense of logic. <laughs> so, like, yeah, that is something that we can sit around and keep talking about. And I feel like up until a certain point, Bleach was always, like, most things, Bleach was always kind of going towards something. It had, like, a pretty well-structured story. But as it started to move faster and faster, there's still a lot of questions that are left unanswered. And that stuff will lead to some really amazing fan theories and speculations and, like, you know, did you notice this and this? What if we connected this and this is what we were supposed to get or all that? It will, And yeah. because of that, Bleach won't necessarily die in fans' eyes too soon. Where if it was like a perfect ending and everyone really loved it, then I there would be nothing to talk about. Like it'd be universal. Yeah. And I I agree with that, but I feel personally the problem with this ending is that it's not like with Dragon Ball where we can speculate things and come to a somewhere of a solid conclusion. It's it's just Bankai. No matter what you say, you say to think it is, we can never come to a solid anything remotely. Close to a solid conclusion. We will, we're probably, and if we do find out, we're never going to get to see it in action. Mm -hmm. and that's just straight up disappointing. I'm sorry. It's, it's not only that, but, but like Dragon Ball also had a stuff, rehab. That's the reason people are disappointed. It's not so much the plot point. It's the thing that we're never going to see. That e even if it's revealed in like an interview or a character data book, it's still going to be like, well, we're still never going to see it in action. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But you were saying anime port. Yeah, I was just I was just saying that it's it's not that just there's speculation to float around. Yeah, that helped Dragon Ball, but the thing that's different from Bleach and Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball had a rehash that still brought a lot of the fans back before it started up again. You know, that it had Kai, which started in around 2009, I think, mm -hmm. and that brought a lot of people back. It brought people's attentions. It got their attention, and they started to get into it, and then they got the movies, and then the new series. Bleach most likely won't have that. It's, it's not something that Bleach will most likely have. Bleach is the way not going to probably be getting, like, in a, like too near the jump back to a mini, a mini movie. It's not probably going to happen. Well, I mean, yes jump, and no. Jump but... was still shoving Dragon Ball in our face at like 10 years after an ending. I think it was, what, Jump Festa 2007 or 2008, when Yo, Son, Goku, and his friend Return were released at Jump Festa. That was a big deal. Mm -hmm. And that was years after it ended. Yeah, but it's at the same, at the same time, like, it's still just, 
it, like you don't know like bleach ended yesterday <laughs> like, yeah yeah but if you look at the treatment from Jonah and Jump, it... I mean, I'm just saying, like, Bleach ended yesterday. You know what ended? Like, and look at all the series, especially in the States and everything. Like, look at all these series that ended decade a decade or more ago that are coming back again. Nostalgia is a big thing. It will always be a big business. Yeah, but and those Bleach, series were... Bleach was on for 15, like, was being made for 15 years. There's a large group of people who are going to want to see it return someday, or in some form, some way, video game, movie, yeah. live the action movie, anything. Is, I don't think Jump cares, because Jump is aware of what you're saying. Jump knows it has a big fan base that wanted to continue. They didn't care enough to keep it going and give it a proper ending, so why would they care enough to bring it back? When One Piece is over, Jump's going to go bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, the third world... They're, at this point, they're saying we got one piece. We have our cat cow. We don't need this stuff anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but and we're teaching have... now. We can call him, and Kijimoto is rumored to be announcing a next manga series later this year in like May. So Kijimoto will come out with a new series that will drag in a lot of money. Most likely, because he wants his goal to make it bigger than Naruto. So they'll have a series that, that the author wants to make bigger than Naruto by the like, same guy who wrote Naruto, and they'll got and they'll have one piece. Why do they need bleach? It does terribly every week. Mm-hmm. Well, that's actually not. The, are you talking about the rankings? Or I don't know. If you're talking about the rankings, the rankings don't count. Yeah, that is true. Let's be honest. Can we all let's be honest? The, the Jonah Jump rankings mean nothing. <laughs> they they really well, don't. Mainly, I think that uh, bleach bleach's popularity is based on the fact that they didn't continue to try to advertise it. There are many anime fans that I have met like, that what the have hell never Bleach? seen Bleach, but then when they see a picture of it, they're like, hey, what's this? And there's always somebody that has to explain it to them as if they had never heard of it. I've seen something worse. I've seen people say, Bleach is still going on. I thought it ended. Yeah, I know. Oh. I did too until like a year ago. Well, or two my, years ago. <laughs> well, the anime did end, to be fair. And a lot of people, especially here, like, they don't think of animes as mangas. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like um, as as getting into it, like I said earlier, into Bleach earlier this year, one thing I have realized is they really did not market this really well. It it's almost impossible to find merchandise for Bleach. Oh, out, uh, did outside you know of the, the cover? Do you know the last cover? And for do you remember how many months ago the last cover, the last time it was on the cover of Jonah Jump was? It was a year ago. Yeah, and over like, over a year ago the last it time was, it was on the yeah, cover it, of Jump. It wasn't yeah. even like a year ago, was it? It was like longer than that. Yeah, it's like they don't. It was like no, Jump. It, it was like four years ago. They all sat down at a table and were like, "Bleach didn't make us enough money anymore. I want to kill it. Let's yeah. kill Bleach." But one thing about it is, is that like like someone was saying earlier, I forgot who. It was. It still has its fan base when they hardly ever advertise it. Which said something about Kubo and how great of the writer he is. Yeah, no, it, it sells like two. It sold like around like two point eight million copies every year for the or for the last four years, and it's not advertised a bit. Like yeah. that says something. I feel it's like, but I would also before before we end, that we're probably gonna do soon. I want to say quickly right now that any rumors that there are some rumors by certain Bleach reviewers, I'm not gonna say any names, but I think everybody here besides now my escort knows who I'm talking about. Certain big Bleach reviewers that are known as the Bleach guy that have been saying that it may have had to do with a certain mangaka saying certain things. That is not true. Uh, the Oda. After he came out in the comments and doing checking, you can see them on Manga 3. He came out and he said to Kubo, great work on Bleach the past 15 years. Complimented him. And, uh, and I, I, there was no resemblance of any, there is no real indication that I've seen of any beef between the two. Mm-hmm. So just stop. Stop saying it had to do with other mangaka like that uh, were higher up telling John they won't be serious. Stop. Stop with that bullshit. Stop. <laughs> that's not that's ridiculous. That's, a, that's, like, that's like people saying Toriyama and Oda should have a boxing match because their series were both at one point the biggest, the biggest selling manga in Jonah Jump. It's stupid. 
I would actually that, pay to see that's that. That's actually pretty stupid considering Oda <laughs> has even said that Toriyama's his inspiration. So, I mean, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, the point that. Yeah, not actually... putting the guys up each other like their enemy. Maybe they don't all get along the greatest, but, but they don't, like, hate each other. They're, they're, they do compete against each other, but they're, 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 they do talk to each other. They're acquaintances and friends. They're not. One thing about uh, Toriyama and Kubo is, if I'm right, when Kubo uh, got... Bleach actually got denied because of similarities but with Yu Yu Hakusho, um, Kiri Toriyama sent Kubo a letter telling him to keep working at it and to try to achieve his goal. And then I think he said something to the people at Jump. He, like... Said something to them, and then they accepted it. Nothing has happened. That's like a that's like a story that it ends a whole lot of ways. I don't even know if that's real. That's just there's multiple versions to that story. Yeah, the version I've heard is that he talked to the higher ups to jump. Yeah, I've uh, heard that too. But then again, like that one of those stories that has like multiple things. But I think before we end it out, let's just say now that you've seen all of Bleach or most of Bleach, uh, what what would you like? What would you rate the theory then? Like, would you recommend it? I would. Uh, I would rate the series probably, and uh, well, it depends on your rating system. Be it four, five, ten, whatever. I, out of a rating of ten, I think I'd give it like a seven point five, or uh, seven. I'd give it a seven. Yeah. And I really, I really do like Bleach. I think I would recommend it to anyone just because of how. You know, at least my experience of it was always positive. And even when you sit there and think that some of the biggest spoilers have already been spoiled for you and everything, I, I'm a testament to think that, like, there are some things out there or there are some things about the story that no one has ever told you because either they've stopped watching it or reading it or they just didn't think it was appropriate to tell you or didn't even think was even necessary. And when that stuff hits, you're like, oh, crap. Like, I wasn't even expecting that. It's yeah. really well told in that regard. Yeah. And and I I think it's definitely worth the watch in terms of it being one of the big three at the time. I think it was definitely deserves that place and it's, like, placement in history for that. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, Anybody else? For it. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll rate it. I'll give it the actual rating... And like the critic rating, I'll give it a. Uh, it's close to Mark's rating, but I'm gonna give it a, a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10. And my fan rating is infinite out of 10. So yeah. <laughs> um, if I had to, to be honest and give it an honest rating, and be unbiased about it, I'd probably give it a seven out a seven out of 10. Because uh, the thing that mostly gets me into it is the art and just the characters in general, but not everybody has the same kind of preference. So I'd say in general it would deserve a 7 out of 10, but I definitely would recommend it to anyone. Yeah. So if I were to have to rate it on a week-to-week basis, I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. It is not very good. It is not a theory to read week-to-week. It really isn't. Oh, God. Like a 4 out of 10. Yeah, I am terrible to read this theory. You're reading it. If you're reading like one chapter a day, no, you're going to hate it. You're going to hate it so much. Well, it's, every, it's like every chapter. It's like this like massive cliffhanger, and then it'll go to something completely different. Which is one of the things that I think really drags the theory down. There's a lot of skip. I, you know, be prepared to have a lot of things skipped over. A lot of things will be ignored. A lot of things like the Zero Squad Zero. You, you guys remember them? Yeah. All the hype they got, then they, they, they were all killed off screen. And then I presume they're all dead. They never get mentioned again. I, I think. Um... If you haven't watched Bleach in terms of actually kind of suggesting it and wanting people to watch it, here's my legitimate, like, piece of advice. You can if you want, and in some respects, it's you should uh, read the entire thing. But if you really just want the best of best of Bleach and have, while not a perfect ending to the series, an acceptable one, stop, stop reading around volume 48. Isn't that when Ishio loses the power? 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That that to some people is the legitimate ending. Some people are just ignoring the rest of it, and to an extent, I can understand that. That is that is probably the point when the theory declined. Yeah. It's just it was just there's a know, noticeable decline by in quality. There, by there's not just a noticeable decline in quality. It's also the reason the full bring arc was so good is because Kubo took so much of his time to build up that arc. It's not that the Iran cars were formidable opponents or interesting characters. Oh, they were formidable, sure. And it wasn't that they were this. It wasn't. It was that you know Eisen and all of his cohorts had some kind of a beef or some kind of a backstory. People like Grimjaw and uh, what was his name? Uhara, not Ukiora. Ukiora. You know, like those people had background stories, and all the other people had interesting characters, and that stuff really hit. All those fights mattered, and. All those fights mattered, and the chemistry of who they were fighting was instantly recognizable. And when you get into basically the the Fulbring arc is is really good, but also really noticeable decline. And then the Thousand Year Blood War starts really epically, and then you realize that it becomes more of a rehash of what the Fulbring arc was, but to a lesser extent, because none of these people have been built up to any real degree, and they're just kind of taken out immediately with no real no real finding like no, or sense of like caring one way or the other who anyone is or learning who anyone is yeah the thousand year blood war arc I, like you said it starts out strong and then it starts like around volume 63 to get a little dull it starts to pick back up around volume 67 uh and then all the way to like the part with Urahara and then the kibanchi the kim Pachi Bankai, I, don't, I got tongue tied. But then after that, it just kind of slows down, and then you realize the series is getting rushed, and then you're like, oh, well, there's the end of Bleach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think at the point where it went, where, where it became definitely never so low with after with when Gerard, I've always said that, when Gerard Valkyrie were taken out from the Holy Collection out of, without us even seeing you hopper form it. That mm-hmm. was when, when we all knew this shit was going down the drain. Yeah. Was, well, that's like a, that's just like a natural sign of it being rushed and being pushed towards ending yeah. fast or yeah. just naturally just throwing yeah. everything that makes sense out the window. Like, no, nobody would ever build up a character to such extent just to take them out. Now, so, but mm-hmm. I will say that I'm not sure Kubo knew how to kill Gerard. I will admit to that. No, um, but... Because his power so. is a miracle. Like, you can kill him, and he'll just come back because of a miracle. The like, miracle was cool, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I, his threat is the M, the miracle. I mean, I don't know how you could really kill him, so I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen anyway. Like, if eventually knew how we were going to use Holy Celestian on... Hackwald and Gerard, and then they were going to like a fight, like it was going to take a lot longer to get to that point. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. But I think we pretty much said all there really is to say. Just on the turn of about Bleach, right? Yeah. Yep. Nothing else ever has to be said about Bleach. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did, anybody, did anybody else have any more comments they'd like to make about Bleach? It can be literally anything. Like I said, stop reading it, Brown. Stop reading after volume 48. If you, if you want something that's satisfying and doesn't nag you a little bit more, but if you want some stuff that's legitimately surprising that probably some people really haven't spoiled for you yet, keep reading. And that, of course, you're one of the people like me who would have been very unsatisfied with Ichigo losing in power. Yeah, yeah, I was too. I was then, like... then, then, you're the, then don't stop reading there. Play dumb. I was I'm like, still wondering how he's just living perfectly fine in the human world now. Yeah. That's a good question. Because if you can remember, his friend got the passes. I mean, I, I'll be honest, it is very possible. Who's your Greek with it? Because you have removed his, so, his yeah. hollow and Quincy power that weakened him to the, to a, the strength of a normal casting level Shinigami or Soul Reaper. So maybe because he was only at like normal, like, high-tier captain level, maybe that would explain it. 
I I don't think so. It, <laughs> I don't doesn't... think so, but it's it's possible. I mean, a better question is 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 that so does he live in the clinic now? Like how did I he's know. a clinic? I think he's a well, doctor. It's a family service, right? It's something that's run in the yeah. family. Yeah, yeah, yes, I understand that. Well, actually, you can't really run it the family when only two people. You don't know. Him. You don't know if he's running that clinic now. We don't know where his dad is. No, but I, it's a, I can't tell if he still lives there. Well, he I might know, live where there. Where his dad is? His dad's a boxer, right? That's that's not Chad. That's his dad, right? <laughs> I, I mean, can't I, be the only person. I that's pretty, that's pretty much looks like his dad. I know, I could. Uh, look at my live reaction. I was like itching. Like, what? In- Inchin? Oh, okay. I'm the only hero monster. Then somebody said it with Chad, and I was like, what? <laughs> like that? Like that was famous. Chad is more famous than Ichigo. I like how Chad doesn't even get, like, his own. Like, that's kind of a perfect send-off for Chad, I think. Because he doesn't even get his own, like, word in. He's always just kind of the silent type who towers over people. But at the same time, I thought... It's really seriously unfair that he gets to be like the heavyweight champion because, like, no way is he not stronger than most human beings. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just thought really of something. Like, at all. I just thought champion. of something. A Bleach spinoff manga, Sh- The Adventures of Chad, or like Boxing Chad, or something like that. <laughs> that would be the greatest be... thing to ever grace the earth. I would be pissed off so much. We're going to be an Avenger slash uh, X Bleach. I mean, like, it happened with Attack on Titan. Uh, I'm not going to be surprised. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. It's an Avenger X Chad. It's like, screw everybody else. Because, let's be honest, I cannot be the only person who had this little thought in their head. It's like, maybe he'll just, maybe he'll just fight that dude forever. <laughs> I feel like uh, what, what they should do is, yeah, they should... It'd be Chad Shippuden. <laughs> Chad Kai. Chad Kai. <laughs> okay, I think that would... Who else here to think that I think that would... Chad. That'd be funny. Like, that'd be funny. Just go back and edit Bleach down to only Chad moments. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then you realize it would I'm only be, like, 30 minutes. Like, I'm the 30-minute made... series. I'm Chad Kai. That. I may just, like, find all the clips with Chad... If I ever get bored, I may do that. You could just take just take one episode and do it. It's like Chad Kai. <laughs> one of those mini animes. You guys ever seen those mini animes? Like they're only three minutes long. Each, yeah. mi- each episode with a mini anime would just be like scenes of Chad. Yeah. It would only be like one episode. Be a Chad with like the most irrelevant character. Out no, of it'd all. be great. It'd be great. Like you can put it in like the Soul Society arc where he runs in, like he where he's like where he gets his ass kicked. <laughs> and it's yeah. like you could you could re-edit the uh you could re-edit the if you could like do like an amv re-edit the opening to that episode with just like scenes of chad <laughs> <laughs> not even do that just like the whole miniseries is just reanimated parts of bleach the anime except whenever chad would normally like get beaten up he just kicks their ass and then at the end of the episode his punchline is because i'm chad <laughs> Okay, I think at this point we're talking about Chad. But does anybody else have anything they want to say before we end this? No. I'm a rock. <laughs> thought, okay. Oh, okay. Um. So all I say before I end this is, of course, is that Cone, Cone, Con, Cone is the Soul King. And oh my he God! Is, he wasn't he, even. He wasn't he even. He God. He is God. He is the Soul King. He is, he, is, he is the ruler of all, of all life, <laughs> and he created you. Cone is the reason you is this. Just, oh my god, don't, that's don't a good his, uh, super almighty Buddha Bankai. No, 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 One Piece, that's a really good theory, because, like, the whole series, chat, like, all Cone said was he was the hero. Like, he is the most important person. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Plot Dude, if, if, that Cone, actually if Cone is the Soul King, that would be hilarious. You know would be s- Watch that be true. Watch it just be like Cone, like the stuffed animal currently in a tube being guarded by the zero spot. Okay, the last thing I want to say in moderation of bleach, we should all drink bleach. Like everyone watching <laughs> this video, 
Grab a pint of bleach. No, don't. Lift let's it not to do the that. air. Let's, yeah, let's, not, not let's not do that. Okay, um, I'm just saying, if the police gets involved, I blame you, not me. I'm not involved in this. No. <laughs> the words of Dino the Snake do not reflect the views of One Piece Nation, Real to Real Productions, or Anime Export. So, yes, do not come to us with somebody drinks bleach. <laughs> but, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe to all the nerd weeaboo crafts or whatever the hell they are. Their channels are in the description box down below. We are all weeaboo crafts. <laughs> Peace out. Have a great day. <laughs>